I'm not in Canada anymore. I had to come back to Florida to be close to my parents. So there's something that I haven't been telling you and I'm gonna come clean about it. Right now we're at the dog park in the campground that I usually stay at. I feel kind of weird vlogging with other people around so I might have to go in the camper to finish this conversation. And I felt like in my last video there was stuff going on behind the scenes that I didn't talk about. So I want to address that now. So I felt pressure to go back to Florida. My mom called me. She wanted me to go back. It was no emergency. It was just she has had cancer and she, she was having anxiety about some of her treatment that was coming up. And she wanted me to come back to be close to her. I put my glasses on so I could read what my notes. Um, so my mom has cancer. She's 88 and she's had cancer for a few years. So for on the most part, she's doing well. They're still living independently. Uh, they still drive, shop, go out to dinner with their friends. They just really want me here just in case something happens and things do happen like my dad a few weeks ago was in the hospital so things do happen but there's an interior struggle in me because I do want to be here with for my parents I love my parents I want to help them but then I live in this camper to travel and being in one spot for a long period of time is not good for my mental health. And I know that about myself and I've always been like that. Being in this campsite in the city for this long, like just wears on me. Just all the people and the noises and the cars and the lawn equipment. And I'm even in this campground, like it's, relatively quiet but I'm right next to the street so I hear the cars all the time and this is just how I'm wired like I am the happiest when I'm in nature like with no man-made noises around that is when I thrive that is when my soul is replenished and I start getting anxious I have a time limit in a city so being here I just been going through a lot of emotions and I feel guilty. I feel guilty because I love my parents and I do want to be there for them. But it's like, it's like nails on the chalkboard. It really is for me to be in a city for a long period of time. You know, this is a strange place to be this time in our lives in middle age because my kids are on their own they're independent they're doing really well but then my aging parents need me and I still want to take care of my own mental health and there's a conflict there so one thing that I want to share with you that I've been doing to take care of my own mental health is when an emotion comes up just to fully feel it and there's something called the 90 second rule. Uh, researchers, Dr. Jill Bolt Taylor says that when a person has a reaction to something in their environment, there's a 90 second chemical release, which is the emotion. And then after that, if you're feeling the emotion is because of your brain keeping you in that loop, maybe catastrophizing or um, you know, just reliving the moment. So I've been trying to live my life that when these emotions come up, just to fully feel them, just to fully accept them, feel them, and don't judge them and just go through it. And it like blows me away because <laughs> sometimes I feel like crying and I'll cry. So sometimes it looks crazy because I might be pumping gas and tears start coming where I'm driving and the dogs kind of know it now. They just gather around me and comfort me and it's really endearing that they do that. 
But what they're saying about this 90 second thing is true. Like the tears come and then after they're out, it's kind of like, oh, I feel better now. And then I get curious about where did that come from? Where did that emotion arise from? Oh, it's because I'm sad that my parents are 88 and 91 and they're having health issues and that makes me sad and it's okay it's okay it's normal or I'm sad because I have this inner struggle where I don't want to be here but I need to be here to help them and that's really hard so I know living like that has really changed my life because I'm not holding on to things and there's been times in my life most of my life where I pushed everything down where I had this fear that if that emotion came up that it wasn't going to leave but the exact opposite is true like by pushing it down it would stay in the background for days weeks months years of me not addressing it and just letting it come accepting it not judging it i mean that's part of our humanness we're all emotional beings even men <laughs> men feel emotion just like women do they're just socialized different not to show it but being vulnerable is actually a strength and i'm learning all this in middle age and it has been life changing for me and it's added to my resilience it's added to my self-acceptance and it's just let me embrace the hard feelings but then also all of the good and Brene Brown um, she's a researcher author um, she says that you can't numb hard feelings without numbing other affects like you can't selectively numb so when you numb the hard feelings you also numb gratitude and happiness and joy and I don't want to do that anymore and I would feel it when I was numbing those feelings I would feel it I would feel when I would love someone there was always a block there and the block was that I wasn't accepting everything and then I wasn't loving myself also like when I push down those feelings and I don't accept them it's like I'm not accepting a part of me. I thought if I didn't hold down those emotions, others would see that I was flawed. But the truth is, we're all flawed. <laughs> we all have wounds that, that come up, like things trigger you and they come up. This is like part of our humanness. It's just part of our evolution, right? That we hold on to the negative things and we let go of the positive things and hold on to the negative things and you know it's to keep us safe because you figure you know our ancestors the ones that were were finding joy over a butterfly and happily skipping through the woods like fell off the cliff or got eaten right but those that were cautious and always looking oh is that a wind or is that you know a tiger or a bear that's going to eat me those people stayed alive <laughs> and we have those people in us now and sometimes it's it's good but it just prevents us from fully living and fully experiencing life and fully accepting ourselves so I want to experience everything. I want to ex fully experience life. All of the emotions, the hard emotions, the joyous emotions. And I've found just by accepting those hard emotions and letting myself feel them, like gratitude, joy, love is just like, I feel like the Grinch, like my heart is like bursting three times more, right? Because now I can truly, truly feel those emotions. And that's a beautiful, wonderful thing. So now for an update on my channel, um, I have a vlog I'm working on from the rest of my travels to Canada and then coming back and I stopped in Ohio and and um, West Virginia. So I'm, I'm working on that. I'm gonna post that probably this week. And then I'm also 
going to be going to Europe to see my son in Germany and my daughter in France. At that time, my brother is going to be in Florida, so I feel good about that, that someone's going to be here in case my parents need something, and I really do appreciate that. And the fun thing is we're going to be renting a camper van and driving through the Swiss Alps, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'll be filming during that time, and I'll try to release something every week, so... I don't know, maybe I'll even go live from the Swiss Alps, which kind of scares me. I've never done that before, but being uncomfortable just makes you grow, right? <laughs> it adds to your strength and resilience, so I welcome that. So if you want to see me go live from the Swiss Alps, <laughs> please comment below. And I, I want to tell you, like at the end of my videos, if you ever stay tuned in my videos, I always say to be kind, especially to yourself. And I genuinely mean that from the bottom of my heart. Like I lived so many years just beating myself up and it held me back. It held me back in life. Like, I think you need to be your own best friend. You're with yourself all the time and constantly hearing that like does not improve your life at all. There's a mantra from Wayne Dyer that says, my past is nothing more than the trail I left behind. What drives my life today is the energy I generate in each present moment. And I remind myself of that every day. Like I picture myself as a slug, right? And I'm going down the trail of life and behind me is this just this snotty trail that I left behind. And that isn't me. The snot is not me. The snot is not you. Like where you are is you. And the energy that you put into your present life is you. So Stop beating yourself up about things that were done in the past because that's not you. You're not the snot. <laughs> You're a beautiful, beautiful human being that's alive and present now with a lot of gifts to give the world. Love yourself now because that is the key to life. That is the key to everything. And it's such a cliche, but I'm finding that it is the key to everything. It's the key to fully loving others. It's the key to fully being present. It's the key to every decision that you make. It's the key to fully enjoying life. Thanks. <laughs>